as a Filipina or Filipinos are non-confrontational. So instead of blushing out our feelings, we tend to be a uh, quiet and uh, fight our battles in silent ways. Get up on it and do, get up on it and do. My channel's driving light, so give me, hey, 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 hey. Thousands of singles around the world find themselves interested in Filipino partners. However, since many foreigners may not be familiar with Filipino culture, misunderstandings can arise in interracial relationships due to cultural differences. Imagine navigating daily life together. That's the beauty of partnership, right? This show is for you. If you're already in a relationship with a Filipina or are considering one. As a Filipina myself, I'll be offering insights into our unique dating culture and essential tips to help you navigate different situations in your relationship. Joining me today is Miss Raya May. Hello, Miss Raya May. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show, and I'm so glad you made it here. Of course, I'm very happy and excited to be here. Hi, uh, hi again. My name is uh, Raya May, and I'm 29 years old, and um, I live in Cebu City. And I'm very interested in uh, finding um, the man of my life. Ms. Raya May will help me discuss what tampo is. Ms. Raya May, as a Filipina, can you explain what is tampo? Of course, um, tampo is a unique and um, a fascinating aspect of the Philippine dating culture. Uh, tampo is actually a behavior wherein an individual uh, withdraws his or her cheerfulness or uh, affection to the person who hurts his feelings. And the closest English translation to tampo is actually sulking, brooding, pouting, or silent treatment. Uh, do you do it uh, to your romantic partner only or for everyone? Uh, you feel tampo not only to your uh, romantic partner, but to anybody who hurts your feeling. May it be your family, uh, friends, or your romantic partner. Um, feeling tampo is, uh, as a Filipina, um, we are actually, we, we don't like uh, conf confrontation, so it's a way for us to express uh, how we feel when, when being hurt. What are the common reasons you do tampo? Where um there are, there could be a lot of things you feel uh, tampo on a day to day basis. Um, you like most of the time I feel tampo when I like something. Uh, when when I don't get something that that I want to, or when I make a request to my partner and my partner does not uh, honor my request, or when you ask permission to your parents to go out and they don't allow you, so you feel tampo sometimes, or with friends. Um. A day to to go out and they don't go out, so they, sometimes they decline. So those things could, uh, you know, could um, ignite that feeling of of tampo. Uh, do you think it needs to be communicated instead? Well, um, there are instances that um, it has to be communicated, and there are also instances that you have to be quiet. Um, paying the tampo or doing tampo is actually one way uh, for us to uh, to communicate, may not be verbal, but it also sends a message. So, um, as a Filipina, our Filipinos are non um, uh, non confrontational. So instead of blushing out our feelings, we tend to be uh, quiet and uh, fight our battles in silent ways. And uh, for me, uh, there are advantages and disadvantages of just keeping quiet. Um, I understand that it's nice to also communicate to um, uh, to send the message and to fill the gap. But uh, again. Um, there's this cultural, um, our cultural background um, um, always uh, keep us to, you know, to be silent most of the time. So I think, yes, um, it has to be communicated and sometimes uh, we just want to be quiet uh, for us to be noticed. Paradise, paradise, you know where we're going tonight, going tonight. Paradise, paradise.
dies. Do you see this as a challenge if you have a foreign partner? Uh, yes, of course. Um, jumping into a biracial relationship is as a challenge as itself. And plus having this um plus um having this um this unique aspect to a Filipino culture, uh it's it's actually difficult to uh communicate. So um this is something that uh, the, the foreign man has to understand or the foreign partner has to understand that's why uh it's best to have that um dating pace to um to address those uh little concerns because uh this could progress into a bigger problems so it's highly important to always communicate and not only on one side but both sides How do you manifest or demonstrate your tempo? Well, um, I do manifest or demonstrate my tempo by being quiet the whole day until the person hurts my feelings, notices me, or comes to worst. I I just uh, stay in my room and uh, sometimes I don't eat, <laughs> so it's a hunger strike. But that's just a very rare scenario. Most of the time, I just really stay quiet. Yeah, I can relate to that. What if your uh, partner is a nonchalant and what if he didn't notice that you have your tempo? Well, um, as a woman, we are always creative in our ways in um, uh, making our men um, uh, attend to our needs. So there are ways on like getting those attentions. So I think um, I, I could not really like tell you exactly because I couldn't uh, think of a scenario as of this time but uh, I guess um, like just just for example um, like as a partner you always uh, prepare co coffee uh, to your to your partner or to your husband in the morning so like if you feel tampo then you don't prepare coffee or there are a lot of things you don't wash his clothes so do things like that in uh, like a household scenario yeah you're very insensitive if you don't notice that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Miss Raya, how should a partner address your tempo? Alright, tempo or being quiet is actually a cue to, to your partner that there's something wrong and that you're not feeling good. So I think um, as a partner, um, you have to communicate and uh, also do the things that the person uh, likes, like maybe uh, by like buy her a flower or buy a cake or maybe buy the uh, her favorite ice cream so those like little things could make up for that tempo there are small gestures that you can do to make up with your filipina partner be sensitive listen to her needs and communicate see you in our next episode bye I keep stepping off all times I'm picking love and over I keep wanting you too long I keep tripping on myself thinking you're my lover I've been way too long Honestly, baby, I can't tell you why We can't be standing by each other's side I wanna know my true feelings inside Give me some time Are you searching for your ideal Filipina bride? Visit manilawomen.com to learn more and start your search for your lifetime partner today. Start your journey with us. Join our tour, book your slot now and turn your dreams into reality.